Hello, my name is Eric, and I'm going to do a range test in the Model 3. I'm going to drive a 40 mile loop in two different directions until the battery is depleted. And this is to kind of get a baseline figure for what the Model 3 does on a, a mixed highway city um, traffic loop and give an idea of how well it does versus EPA. This test loop is fairly close to the EPA combined cycle driving. So I wanted to get a baseline test result before doing other tests you know, that might use heater or other um, air conditioning, uh, the wheel covers. So this initial test is just no heater and driving the loop forward and backwards to account for wind other changes. In order to get ready for my drive test, I've since the temperature is 53 degrees, the battery will need a little heating. I'm running t the climate preconditioning function from the Tesla remote, and what that does is it'll heat the battery up to get it within range. So I started at 30 minutes before I wanted to drive, and the, that should get the battery up to temperature so that I can get most accurate range result. Um, otherwise, it will. A cold battery doesn't have quite the capacity that a warm battery does. So, since I'm trying to kind of match what the EPA would do for this test, I've been preconditioning the battery, getting it up to temperature, and this is a baseline test. So, I want to get kind of close to the EPA. For other tests, I won't drive a full battery charge, or um, you know, I, I might test things like not preconditioning the battery. But for this test, I wanted it preconditioned. And then, so as you can see, I'm at 99%. Tesla will charge to 100% if you want it to, but once it drops below that a little bit, it has a certain threshold before it starts charging again. So I may not be able to get it to 100% for this test. But one thing I also want to check is, I always have my battery in percentage. Tesla will display a mileage figure if you want to, but this is kind of a meaningless number. What it does is it shows you what it thinks the EPA rating is based on the condition of the battery. So things like age and temperature can impact that. So if I switch it back, it's showing my 99% range is 294 miles. That's off a little bit from the 310 it was when it was new. So um, I don't know if that could be either battery degradation, it could be the battery's a little cool yet. Um, and it could just be software changes, they kind of play with that number sometimes. So it's kind of meaningless, so I like to leave it on percentage. And so I'm at 99% there, and I will let this finish preheating. Before I start my drive, I'm going to turn off the climate control. It's, you know, a mild day today, about 50 degrees, so it'll be perfect for driving without the climate on. And getting a good baseline figure before I have climate on or climate off. Should I need to defog the windows, uh, I will crack the interior windows slightly, the front right and the rear left, so I don't get the vibrations. And I will do that just long enough to clear the fog off the windows to not mess with the aerodynamics too much. It's only a pretty minor, I won't open them very far. So, okay, but I'm about ready to get started. Um, doing this type of test will take a long time. So I'll entertain myself by listening to podcasts or um, audiobooks. If you have any favorites, feel free to suggest them in the comments below. Okay, getting ready to go, so it's time to unplug. I have a camera set up for a time-lapse recording. First thing first is to turn off the climate control. To do that on Tesla, hit the fan, hit the off button in the upper left. Now the climate control is turned off. I'm still only at 99% charge, so I'll just have to account for that when I'm doing my calculations. And it'll, it'll only be a small percentage, 1% or so, less than 2%.
Okay, I pulled back in the driveway with 294.7 miles, 6 hours and 26 minutes, 230 watt hours per mile, and a warning message that popped up right when I put it in park that says charge immediately. When I first started this morning, the battery was at 99%. But by the time I actually left after starting my podcast, it had dropped to 97%. So, and the battery temperature wasn't up to temperature yet. So I'm going to assume that my range is from 97% to 0% here. So that's actually right on the EPA rating. From what people tell me is once this hits 0% or 0 miles range, it was just at 1, that you can get about 10 or 15 miles after that, So, which I don't plan to do because I don't want to have the car stall out somewhere. So overall, it went pretty smooth. Got to listen to a couple good podcasts. This one is Dan Carlin's Hardcore History Blueprint for Armageddon. And got through two episodes of that, so... Um, now, I will go upload this video.